Welcome back guys. Hope you're enjoying this gorgeous sunrise as much as we are here in Jules with Crew in South Africa. Amanda got her red heart beast yesterday morning and collected a common spring buck last night. She has a couple more animals on her list for this part of South Africa before we head northeast to Limpopo. Today we're going to try to find her a black spring buck and a gims buck. Everyone else is gearing up and getting ready for another full day of adventure. Come right along as we discover South Africa and what it has to offer. We found a nice group of spring buck with a couple of the black variation among them, so we headed up the hill in pursuit to see if any of them met the approval of our guide with the keen eye, Brent. The wind was absolutely howling up here. Our attention didn't stay on the spring buck long as our tracker Nico spotted a group of bedded gims buck with a huge male among them. Now this was an amazing feat to me as, as they were bedded on the back side of the hill where barely the tips of their horns were showing. I couldn't even see them with my binos until we crept within 150 yards. As we got into position, we made a game plan where Nico would whistle to get them to stand. The wind was horrible, but we were well hidden with a large thorn tree at our back putting us in the shadows. The plan was good, but the large bull did not stand the first time, so we would give them some time to calm down and try again. Did I hit him? Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> thank the Lord. <laughs> oh, I'll back it again. Yep, you know. I didn't jerk the Game's back down. Yes. Come on, do it with me. Come on.
Amanda's shot was true, but as the other Gimsbuck made their way down the hill, our Gimsbuck tried to follow. Brent's amazing tracking dog, Mia, gave chase and bade the animal at the bottom of the hill so Amanda could do a follow-up shot. Got him to dance with me. <laughs> the victory dance. <laughs>